vital your presence and participation is for the reunification of North and South Korea. This inspiration is highly needed. It's important to take in consideration all aspects, including, we just heard it, the North Korean fears, and that nobody loses face. I don't believe one should be a winner and the other one should have lost the game. It's a question of finding a solution that both can be the winners. And during this time of the pandemic, we need health for peace and peace for health. The two laureates, Professor Dame Sarah Catherine Gilbert and Gavi, the Vaccine Alliance, are the heroes who devoted themselves to health for peace and peace for health with their commitment to humanity. I'm a scientist, and for some years my research has been on the development of vaccines against viruses that are known to cause outbreaks. We can achieve so much when we work together, each bringing our different strengths. The work we did to produce the Oxford-AstraZeneca vaccine was exhausting and overwhelming at times, but ultimately vital and rewarding. I hope that many young people will be inspired in their career choice by knowing about what we achieved. Together with wisdom, sincerity, and resolve, I do believe we can illuminate the path to peace both on the Korean Peninsula and beyond. Please join me in working, striving, and praying for a Korea that is safe, prosperous, flourishing, united, and finally at peace. Let Korea's example teach the world that peace can thrive if humanity can collaborate, communicate, and develop together. Kamsa Hamida. In the Korean Peninsula, a fragile truce remains in place since the 50s. Unfortunately, all these efforts produce very little outcome. This makes the 2022 UPF World Summit, all that more important and timely. Breakthrough of 
peace on the Korean Peninsula would reflect globally. If peace will be the cornerstone of every nation and every generation, then the 38th parallel can become a symbol of peace rather than division. I wish that peace prevails in the Korean Peninsula and the entire world. Thank you. We are doing a great job making any effort to unify Korea, but uh, respecting human rights, uh, uh, having uh, uh, the sense of history that drives you to this uh, effort for unification. This is a win-win process that say uh, nobody will be damaged by the Korean unification. In this context, the Korean Peninsula could be the ground of an exemplary pathway to peace. In order to have a fruitful dialogue, the strategy should be based on political, cultural and social interactions responding to the aspirations of both people and regimes. I am sure that the Universal Peace Federation Summit will contribute to this important process of searching for constructive solutions to a conflict that has been going on for too long. The people of Kosovo and of South Korea share a similar past of suffering under occupation and of struggle for freedom. Freedom means and seeks peace. And to attain lasting peace, all of us must do our part wherever we are.